Shemai Baub, and welcome to Micro Bits with Miss Rogers. This week we're going to create a game using block code, and we're going to use one of my favourite games, Rock Paper Scissors, and we're going to use the Micro Bit. You will need access to this website, makecode.microbit.org. It's a free website and all the information about Microbit and tutorials are all located on this site. So let's log on to the website. If you type it into Google, it should be the first one that pops up. And it is a free site. It's run by BBC. So this is the Microbit website and this is the hub of all the information with regards to Microbit. Oh, we don't want to start a project. I know there's a rock, paper, scissors. If we just scroll down, aha, uh -huh, on the left. So click on that. We're going to do the blocks. And we're doing the tutorial. So it's going to give you hints as we go. So the first one is, is to select an on shake block. So we can go to input, click and drag the on shake block. And let's get rid of the two we're not going to use. And it's as simple as click and drag over to the left and it will go into the bin. So press the arrow going across and now it's telling us we need a hand variable. And it's showing you where to locate it and what to do. So let's go to variables. Label it hand. And click and drag it across. There are three options in rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, or scissors. So we want random one to three. So let's follow what the hint has just told us. Go to variables. Oh, sorry, maths. Pick random. Click and drag it and it will attach itself to the block. And we're going to change it one to three because there are three outcomes in the game rock, paper, scissors. Let's see what we're going to do next. Aha, we need an if block. So, for example, if one is chosen, what would you like it to display? Okay, let's try this then. Let's go to logic. There's the if block we need and we're just going to add it. Just check in. Aha. So we've added the if block. Let's go back to logic, scroll down and choose if the hand Oh, this is the tricky bit now. It needs to attach itself. So if the hand is equal to 1, we want the micro bit to display paper. So if we go to basic, get the show LEDs, you can click and drag and colour in all the ones you want to, or you can select each square. So if the hand equals 1, it will show paper. And you can see it popping up on the micro bit to the left then. Because you can test it as you're going along just by press and shake. Okay. So we're going to add another if block now. Just check and follow. Okay, so go to basics, want to add an LED. Oh, I don't want it there. If you do put it in the wrong place, they're so easy to move. You just click and drag it where you need it to go. Okay, let's colour all these in. I'm going to make a snazzy pair of scissors.
Aha, my scissors. Okay, so we have option one, option two. Now there's a third option because there are three outcomes in rock, paper, scissors. So we need to add another if block. We need to add hand variable. Now this is the tricky bit because you need it to go over the first zero. Again, if it doesn't happen, just click and drag it to the bin and just keep trying. This bit can be very fiddly. But I don't want the whole yellow thing to light up. I just want that first part to light up. Aha, there we go. So, hand is equal to two. Then I would like the micro bit to show rock. So remember you can click and drag to colour them all in or you can press them individually. So, now we can test it on the micro bit top left corner so you do have a micro bit in the top left corner press the button to make it go big press the shake button and you can play rock paper scissors you can play against the computer or you can challenge a family member to play rock paper scissors with you and we've done it there are absolutely loads of tutorials on this website and even though you don't have the micro bit you can still use the interactive micro bit on this website if you are enjoying this i do have a challenge for you and if you're really good with that block coding you can try and use the python or the javascript all the tutorials are on the site for you I can't wait to see what you create. Good luck, guys.